EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Marshall Show with your outlook for January 5th, 2021. For your Tuesday, expecting mostly cloudy skies for a second straight day. We have an upper level low and weak surface low that are going to be moving through the region. Might just provide a nu- enough of a lift in the atmosphere to produce a few snow showers and or flurries across the region in parts of the region. This is not going to be an everywhere thing. It's going to be a hit or miss deal. And because temperatures are expected to largely be above av- uh, or above freezing today, the sticking the, the of the snow as it falls is going to be a cumbersome task. So there's not going to be a lot of this sticking on the ground. A few of the colder locations, I can't roll out some non-paved surface, very minor dustings here and there, but uh, there's not a lot of precipitation. As we look over to the high-resolution rapid refresh, starting us off at 5 a.m., and just to show you, identify where you have a few of these snow showers and flurries popping up at different times of the day. Get some here again throughout the course of the day today. Then once we get toward evening, it kind of falls apart here's uh here's late in the day and you get you know still have uh still have a few uh, snow showers or flurries hanging around in a few spots but uh the, most areas will not see these so we're, we're just keeping an isolated chance in the forecast for today not a big deal if you see a few snowflakes great if not that's great too. Okay, so otherwise we're mostly cloudy today. Temperatures are going to be very slightly above average, kind of near to slightly above average today, by a couple degrees. Not a real big deal. This uh, system is going to pull away, and then we're going to be partly to mostly sunny here on Wednesday, and mostly sunny skies here on Thursday. Now, uh, the first of two signals we had in our long range this week was this system coming in the in the eighth ninth time frame here, and that is this one right here moving off to our south. It has been consistently modeled across multiple guidance today to remain to our south. I don't want to completely dismiss this yet, but we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting down to I mean, today's Tuesday, and we're talking about this uh, coming in Thursday night and Friday. So if it's not making a move today on the on the guidance, it's probably not going to. Uh, we have the only reason I didn't want to give up on this is we have several systems here just in the past uh, past couple systems actually that looked like they were going to stay further southeast and ended up hitting us directly like the one we had on Sunday. That was four days four days away from that system. Models were still still suggesting it was going to do something like this and stay well southeast. And of course, this is the GFS and the GFS does GFS things. But it does have support this time that this stays off to the south and east here. So we'll keep a close eye on it. Could be some snow across uh, parts of North Carolina from that at the very least. Uh, but we're really looking forward to the, uh, we're looking for the, the southern areas here, just uh, across Delaware, southern New Jersey, maybe as far as southern Pennsylvania uh, for some fringe impacts, if anything. I really don't think it's going to be something that's going to take a wild turn, although stranger things have happened. But we're going to keep an eye on this here just in case it has some fringe impacts on our, for our southern areas here in the Thursday night and Friday time frame. After that, we remain dry. And if we don't get any anything from this, which is the odds are we don't, you're going to have to wait to the next storm signal, which is early next week, to get any any precipitation after any flurries you have today. So uh, here's that system on the GFS here. Now, this, is, uh, this has been modeled to be, to be a, a bigger hit across our region. It's also been modeled to be southeast. I mean, this is over, you know, a little over a week away or about a week away. So, you know, we definitely have some time for this to move around, and uh, we'll, we'll see what this does. But this is an interesting image here because this is looking at uh, – at Sunday night here, and it's showing it's showing snow from Jackson, Mississippi, through Birmingham and Montgomery, Alabama, and uh, and Atlanta, Georgia, Chattanooga, Knoxville. I mean, so these are some areas that don't normally get a whole lot of snow, and the GFS is suggesting it's going to have snow. And then that this system on the most e- most recent evening run stays largely southeast with just fringe impacts to Delaware and southern New Jersey. So we'll keep an eye on this. I don't think that both of these are going to miss. It's probably going to be one or the other. It's not looking like the first one uh, is interested or the models are interested in the first one here, but this would be on Monday if this were to occur. So we'll keep an eye on this. This is our second storm signal. And uh, right now we're going to, uh, for the in the local forecast, you'll see increasing clouds on, on Monday without any mentions of precipitation, just because we can't. Just just, uh, just need to see where this uh, kind of, uh, where, where the trends over the next uh, next couple of days here. Again, we're a week away, so a lot of things are going to still happen. But that is one. This is our second storm signal. This is both of them. You can see again storm signals don't always mean a direct impact from a system. This one most likely not going to hit toward the end of this week. But we have another shot here early next week too. 
uh, again, uh, a lot of time to play with this and see what it, see where it goes, not only for this one, but also the Friday system. But in the meantime, it looks like we have a dry stretch coming up for maybe about a week or so, and then we'll look into it early next week and see what that does. I'm EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for January 5th, 2021. Have a great Tuesday.